So I okay. So this documentary, it it just ended, all right. Um, I I just I just got done watching this documentary. So <laughs> a ri holy shit, almost dropped the phone. So originally I was gonna I was gonna live stream earlier, and I was gonna do. Originally, I was going to do a completely different video, which was me attacking that new reboot of the craft, which, don't worry, that tasty, rantful review is still coming. But, um, Bob Lazar, Area 51, and Flying Saucers by Jeremy Corbell. So, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've always been obsessed with you know, unsolved mysteries, aliens, whatnot. And uh, probably like a lot of you, I, I, I first found out about Bob Lazar um, through Joe Rogan. <laughs> and uh, uh, I remember thinking, huh. And then I remember when I uh, found out about Commander Fravor. Hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't lose connection here, but I just, I just want you to see, okay. So what you see. So this is Bob Lazar, all right? We'll 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 get to we'll get to him in in just a moment. But this guy, we still we still streaming. Okay, cool. Hold on. Let me. There we go. Okay, and then uh, Commander Fravor, this guy, that guy. You see that guy? We still streaming. Okay, that guy. So Bob Lazar. Okay. Okay, you see that? Bob Lazar and Commander Fravor. Now, Fravor is interesting because in 2004, he's a, uh, he was part of, he was like a Navy pilot, pilot for like 18 years, and he, and in 2004, and there's videotape of this as well, he fucking saw uh, what's referred to as a Tic Tac UFO, okay? Commander Fravor, right? Right? And then, and then fucking Bob Lazar, okay, this son of a bitch is talking about how 30 fucking years ago, this motherfucker was in, uh, I, I believe he was in fucking, like, New Mexico or some shit, right? <laughs> it was sort of near Area 50. We're about to go off the rails. This shit's driving me crazy. So close by Area 51. Not not Area 51. He worked for something called Area S4 or some shit, right? <clears throat> so he, he so first off, Bob Lazar is like, <laughs> whether he's telling the truth or not, this motherfucker is not only clearly... It, Highly intelligent, but uh, very much so like a scientist, right? And okay, so like Bob, he's young, he goes to work there, right? S4, and he, he thought he was going there to work on some experimental aircraft, right? Propulsion system. Come to find out, there's like these flying fucking saucers there, again, allegedly, right? Uh, now, you know, what? I, from this point on, I'm just gonna pretend like you've been briefed so we can, you know, but. I, I, listen, here's the truth. <laughs> most UFO sightings, most alien sightings have got to be false, okay? It's got to be the person, you know, mentally ill, they're schizophrenic, uh, you know, they're losing their fucking mind, whatever, okay? People are lying, they're, they're doing it for cash, whatever. Bob Lazar and Commander Fraber, they don't really fit into that. Like, I think, uh, and me and a buddy of mine, we've been warring about this. So there may actually, I've been talking about like doing like a science podcast, like a movie podcast. Maybe there should be a UFO one. But uh, no, no, for real, for real. These uh, Commander Fravor and Bob Lazar are the only two people where I've actually stopped and said, I don't know. I really don't know. They might be telling the truth. Um, there's there's a Leslie Kane book. It's got a long ass title. I forgot what the fuck it's called. But there's a Leslie Kane book. It's called UFO something something. That, that, that as well is also like, what in the flying fuck did all that come from? You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that might, maybe there's a couple other things where I might be like, maybe, but no. It, it, what? 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 If Bob Lazar is serious, this nigga's talking about how he saw like nine alien spacecraft. Um, first, let's talk about the documentary. The documentary, unfortunately, is... It's, okay, so when I first tried watching the documentary after seeing the JRE Bob, uh, Bob Lazar podcast, 
When I first when I first tried watching this, I'm not gonna lie to you. I got like five minutes in, I I dipped right the fuck out. But cause it, it, first it, it's the, the the editing is bad. There's like a, 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 a an overall narration from Mickey Rourke apparently, which does not work. It makes it makes everything seem totally fake as fuck. Um, the editing feels so like new wavy and like Instagram filter uh Shane Dawson inspired it's like I, I feel like way too much thought went into the editing um there's a part where it's just like it's just Bob Lazar and Jeremy talking and uh oh my god that part was fucking weird but when um when 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 Bob Lazar's like, no, nah, I, I wish I could tell you that I saw some aliens, but I really didn't see any, see any aliens. I didn't see, I did not see any aliens. Um, but they used to refer to the aliens, and Jeremy was like, he's like, what, what they used to refer to the aliens as? And uh, uh, Bob Lazar goes, uh, because it's believed that the aliens are small, right? Um, but it, Bob Lazar was saying, like, it, it, they referred to these aliens as the kids. And I was like, what? What? That's fucking creepy. The kids. And then there's like this montage of like UFO um, supposed sightings. Just like mis miscellaneous from different time periods after that. And so some of that footage, I was like, God damn, some of this footage. footage though it, it may more than likely be fake, but some of that footage, I was like, God damn, I have not seen some of this footage before, and some of that shit was like, fuck, that's creepy. Like, you know, when there's, like, video footage from, like, uh, you know, like, 2002 or shit like that, or any older, supposedly showing UFOs, and, 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 and it can't be easily explained away, that type of shit creeps, creeps me out. Creeps me out. Because it's like, fam... It's not like someone was using, like, Photoshop, you know what I'm saying? So that shit freaks me out. Um, anyway, I know we're going all over the place, but, like, what the fuck? Um, because this documentary is really bad if you're a skeptic. I think that's the thing. It's a really, it's like the worst entry point if you're a skeptic. Because at the beginning, I'm like, you know, he's showing... Uh, text messages from George Knapp. And when I first saw this, I'm like, who the fuck is George Knapp, right? You know? Um, you know, the way that they're referring or showcasing Bob Lazar at the beginning, it's just like, well, what's happening? There's so many moments where, like, he'll show something fleeting, and it's like, no, you should have spent more time on that. What the fuck? Like, there's this part uh, in in the last half of the film where Bob, he's, he, he sends Jeremy a really really sketchy, uh, whatchamacallit, he sends him a really sketchy fucking, um, voicemail, right? And so they, and they meet in the middle of the woods, right? They meet, they meet in the middle of the woods, and, and then, and then, and then out of nowhere, you know, uh, supposedly the next day, you know, Bob Lazar gets, uh, raided by the FBI again, and it's like, what? What, why wasn't there more of that? Like a moment like that where they're talking in the woods. That's a moment that should have been stretched out. Okay. It should have been mostly like Bob Lazar, Jeremy talking one on one. Not like all this like snazzy, like Shane Dawson conspiracy theory video, like video edits. Okay. It should have been less editing, more talking. You know? Um. Oh my God. Oh my God. God, and then, and then another, uh, it's so weird that, that YouTube being down is what led to this fucking, is what led to this fucking video. Um, but, I don't know. But yeah, so, so, I, I, I think, I think the, I, I think the documentary is decent, it's fine, but it really only works after you've, like, done some research, watched the Bob Lazar, JRE, maybe, like, some, uh, Commander Fravor videos, um, learned about George Knapp a little bit. I think once you, you sifted through all that information and then you watch the documentary, it hits better and it's different. Um, so, so yeah, basically, I would say if you were curious in a documentary, I would say watch some podcasts and do some research before watching. Um, cause I, don't know, I don't know. I, I almost... God damn. 
What would I even give the documentary? Well, I would just give it that that it it, it works. It works. But again, you, you can't just like watch it outright or else you're gonna be just as skeptic as I was, okay? Um I don't know, there's just something weird about Bob being raided by the FBI and other agencies during the filming of this documentary. That's the thing that fucks me up. That's fucking weird. Also, another thing that's weird is that, like, a lot of the pictures or, like, newspapers or footage of Bob um, from, you know, 1989... <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, that's credible because it was, like, on the news or something. Or I guess it was, was that George? Was that George Knapp interviewing him there? That's, that's why I say the documentary is kind of kind of poor. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on unless you already have some pretty decent knowledge of the overall aspects of this documentary going in. But, um, man, yeah. I, I would say that, like, when it comes to UFOs, uh, alien UFOs, Clearly, because that's what we're all interested in, right? Uh, when it comes to alien UFOs, I'm pretty agnostic, but goddamn, I, I or I'm pretty atheist. Um, there's been some cases like Leslie King's book where I'm pretty agnostic, where I'm like, I don't fucking know. I mean, this is weird shit. I mean, there's a photo in that book that's confirmed a hoax. You can say confirmed from 2011, but anyway, yeah, Bob Lazar. And um, look at this. Look at this. This, this Cortana just came on randomly. That's kind of scary. But um, <clears throat> what what is even happening? But uh, moving past that, um, I guess this sort of boils down to you know, do you believe? Do you believe Bob and David? I would say <laughs> I'm sort of like agnostic leaning towards belief. That's the best way I can describe my interpretation of what Bob Lazar has to say. What, what's weird is that they've met. That's that's also another weird thing. They've actually met each other. And what's even weirder is that when, when, when they met, they were both like, this doesn't happen. Well, anyway, when they met, they were like geeking out over the UFOs because like Bob was like, holy shit, that's just like what I saw. And like, uh, the uh, frame was like, oh, we're talking about that's kind of like what I experienced. It's just weird, man. It's weird. And I know that, like, once this... What's really fucked is that I know that once this is, you know, off live, you know, it's... Uh, this particular review won't get a lot of... Won't get too many views, because, you know... Um... But, uh... uh I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. This documentary fucked me up. But I'm telling you, if you just watch it outright for the first time, you don't know much about the subjects, you're, you're not, you're, you're going to turn this shit off in three minutes, man. But, um, yeah, if you do some research and then watch it, you'll be fine. But I don't know. This documentary kind of just fucked me up, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, man, when he referred... When he said that the code name for the aliens uh, was the kids, I don't know, man. I I think I have a good intuition. Not, not that anyone wants to hear that, but I do think I have a good intuition. And I just, I, I, there's just something about Bob. I just don't think he's lying. I know that's a dangerous thing to say. And, and Commander Fravor, I don't think he's lying either. Um, but I, I'm not full out like like Dan Aykroyd. I appreciate you if you if you know why I mentioned Dan. But uh, shout out to Dan Aykroyd. But um, I I don't believe I don't believe nowhere near. I mean I believe in, in, in more advanced than human level uh, extraterrestrial aliens. Yes, I think I've always I think I've literally believed that. I think I've believed that since uh since I was a little kid when I saw <laughs> whatever. But when I was a little kid and I saw Jodie Foster's um contact. I think literally, literally from then, I remember even as a little boy, I remember just being like, hey, shit, shit, shit. that lesbian chick might be right. There might actually be aliens. Um, <sighs> this is such a weird 
documentary to recommend. <laughs> like I'm recommend, I I do recommend the documentary, but I only recommend it if you watch it the way that I did. It's, it's just Jeremy. Jeremy. I almost wish that like I was sitting next to Jeremy when he was editing this, editing this documentary. So I like pretend like this is Jeremy's hand. This is Jeremy's hand. I wish that like I was there so I could just be like, Jeremy did. Stop it with the Mickey Rourke narration. That's people are tuning out. Okay, um, I. It, 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 why did you just flash flash all that information uh, without pausing to like you know elaborate? You know what I'm saying? Like he he made this documentary as if like you're already a pro. It's been a while, so this documentary is like a big recap. That's kind of one of the biggest problems, but. Um, so, uh, man, what a weird situation. By the way, I feel, I feel like, I feel like if I really do, cause I, I know that I'm going, for, uh, I know that I'm going forward with like cinema podcasts. Um, I've, I've always wished that there was like Joe Rogan ish style podcasting, but for targeted subjects. It's fine to like fly off the handle handle and talk about elk meat and fucking grizzly bears. <laughs> but but it would it would be nice to have a, a podcast that was like Joe Rogan style that was pinpointed where we're talking about cinema. I and I've been warming up to an idea about science podcast. Well I have the UFO podcast, maybe. I'm dead serious. I've been thinking about this shit. Because me and my buddy uh, uh, me and my buddy Josh, we've been debating hardcore UFOs recently, um, and, uh, because just, just recently, like, I guess within the past month or two, I started researching, uh, UFOs for reasons that I can't say, and, um, that's what sort of led me, uh, back to thinking about Bob Lazar, and, yeah, you can kind of see how this happened, but, uh, I don't know, maybe there might be a UFO podcast, maybe, but I, I wonder, I wonder if Jeremy Corbell is, I feel like he's reachable, right? He can't be, like, trying to reach out to speak with Joe fucking Rogan would be an extraordinary challenge, but someone like Jeremy Corbell, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I could reach out, maybe I could talk to him, you know? Is that possible? Can I talk to Jeremy? Can I talk to George Knapp? Um, cause, like, it's like, I guess you could make, you could say that they're famous, but they're not, like, so famous that they're unreachable, you know what I'm saying? Like, Joe Rogan, my nigga, let's get 100, I don't care how hard I try, the odds of me talking to Joe Rogan anytime soon, or, or even getting his attention are not very fucking good. Um, but, like, George Knapp, Jeremy, I don't know. Where the fuck does, where's Bob live at the current time? Where does he live? Uh, God damn, that's gotta be problematic. Where's this nigga living at? Uh, for some reason, Michigan is stand, standing out in my mind, but that feels wrong as fuck. I anyways, um, holy shit, I almost forgot that we were live for a second. He lives in Michigan? Sorry, I'm looking at the comments now. Um, it's a little later than usual. That's why I haven't acknowledged the comments. But um, I like the doc King Tone. I like the talk. I think it's stylized for entertainment purposes. That was the that was the wrong way to go. That was the wrong way to go. Fuck. Like, you know, I get again. I, I get what I get. What he was trying to do with this, like. Uh, it should, but by the way, fuck Shane Dawson. But anyways, I get what he was trying to do with his Shane Dawson conspiracy video-esque style video edit, editing techniques, but it was a poor choice. For something like this, boy, for something like this, you got to know people are coming in skeptic as fuck, okay? You, you got to keep it simple with people when you're talking about subjects like this. You can't just be like, He's just coming at you in like a thousand, Jeremy's coming at you in like a thousand uh, uh, different directions. And it's like, bro, <laughs> calm down. This is why the Bob Lazar, Joe Rogan uh, podcast was so fantastic because streamlined, 
simple, you know? I uh, wasn't like all of this, you know? Uh, did anyone else say anything? What? Wait. King, King Tone, I believe, I believe Bob's story. I, I believe it too. It, it feels weird saying I believe. Again, it's, it's more like I'm agnostic leaning on, leaning towards the possibility that potentially he's probably telling the truth. <laughs> it's convoluted as that sounds. It's kind of my, um, basic opinion. Um, first off, King Tone, uh, just donated two dollars, y'all. Come on. Come on. King Tone, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, my nigga, you, you could have, you could have donated 50 cents. 50 cents, that still would have been, uh, very grateful. Uh, appreciate you. Genuinely. Thank you. Um, let's see here. King, King Slayer, do it. King Tone, start that podcast. <laughs> yeah, you can just, yeah, you can just do it. It's fair, my guy. That's fair. Oh, ouch. Um, mm. uh, oof. Someone said Corbell is an idiot. I, I don't think so. I think, I think Jeremy gets a bad rap. I, I like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I first saw him on the Bob Lazar and on the Fravor podcast, and when I first took a wink at that documentary, I was like, Jeremy, I know you mean well, but boy, and I know I can tell it's unintentional because, you know, he's excited, he's nervous and shit, but it's like, Jeremy, boy, you are not convincing, boy, you're not convincing, but I must say, after all this time, I really like Jeremy now, <laughs> because, like, now I can tell after having, like, watched him for hours, like, you can tell he's just fucking nervous, and, like, I... I think he has trouble trying to, like, handle himself on camera, which is commendable, because think about what the fuck he's talking about, you know? So, I, I think I think people are being a little bit too harsh on Jeremy. Yes, there's... He, he kind of glitches out sometimes. For example, uh, in the documentary, you know, in, you know in, in, in the documentary, literally, like, an hour and, like, ten minutes in or something like that, after Bob gets done laying... A smackdown with some information. Je Jeremy literally goes, so this spacecraft, like an alien spacecraft. And it's like, duh, nigga! Like, even, even Bob, even Bob Lazar was like, yeah, probably, you know, I'm trying to say alien spacecraft, yeah. It's just like, there should be, there's, there's moments sometimes where Jeremy will glitch out a little bit. But, but it's fine. It's fine. Because again, Given the topic, it's like, well, no wonder, you know what I'm saying? It's just, um, I, I guess maybe we'll end here. Um, I just don't think it's why. Like the, you know, I, I've spent my whole life studying film, movies. Um, so it's particularly easy to spot when something's fake. And I'm telling you, dog. When they're showing those old videos of him, when they're showing those old what shit, when it, when his wife was holding the newspaper, I was like, God damn, they still have that. Jesus Christ. Um, let me tell you something. Those old pictures, those old videos. I, I mean, I guess you know, I wasn't there during the recording, but I'm telling you that shit's real. That nigga really was out there. Okay, whether you know whether. You know, he saw aliens and this and that, you know, as an eye of the beholder. You know what I'm saying? Um, because if it's true, they don't want you to know. But, um, fuck it, I'm about to just go all over the place. I don't even give a fuck. By the way, I need to do some more live streams, right? Uh, this live stream is a little more choppy than usual, but hey, uh, uh, you know, it is there a bit of a shadow on this side? Yeah, okay. Uh, the light this way. This might help. <sighs> Sorry about that. But um, but yeah, I like I like these live stream videos. They, they feel more. It feels like it feels like I'm inside you. You know what I'm saying? It feels like we're connecting intimately. Anyway, 
Um. Oh man. God, this is some weird things, right? This is why I want to start the podcast because uh, and you have to excuse this video for being overly long. But like I said, I was trying to record fucking earlier, but YouTube went down, and it was supposed to be, it was actually supposed to be a totally different video. But hey, fate. Maybe it's fate that led me here. It's weird, you know, like in April, you know, the Pentagon released, uh, you know, it's deep classified um, UFO footage, you know? It's, that's fucking weird, right? Or remember, remember, fuck! Oh, shit! I almost forgot. Remember, it was only just last year. It was literally only just last year when that Facebook group went viral about those people that were gonna storm uh, Area 51. You remember that shit? That's so weird that that just only happened last year. For some reason, in my memory, I thought that happened like five years ago. It was literally just last year. It's just a time, just timing. You know what I'm saying? The timing. Think about the timing of, of these. Man, and granted, nothing really, nothing particularly of interest happened when they tried storming Area 51. I think like seven people were arrested. No, nobody got near the entrance, you know. Which, whether the government's lying or not, for good reason, they might shoot you ass. Um, yeah, some people might have been shot that day, or at least detained. What? Quicker than you might motherfucking sing. But, um... Uh, yeah, yeah, no. That was, that was, like, the worst... Even if there were aliens there. Um... Which creepily... God, what, what's... Oh, my God. This shit is fucking up my head. Because what's so weird is that, like... Technically speaking, there might not have been. Because, curiously enough, he never claimed to work at Area 51. So it's actually kind of fascinating that Area 51 is sort of, well, obviously, like, Area S4 and Area 51 be connectable. But it is interesting that it's not Balthazar Area uh, S4 and flying saucers. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. It was also... Oh, shit! This is why... Yeah, I definitely need to do more um, live stream reviews, you know... Express more and you remember things like a, a memory just said uh, doink and I totally forgot about the part in the documentary when Bob Lazar he was talking about how uh, when they went into S4 before you could fully enter you had to like scan yourself so you had to lay your hand down on this thing and it would literally like scan your your like bones right through your hand and that's how you got through and uh, when he mentioned that in the documentary, I was like, that sounds fucking impossible. And then, and then when uh, Gamry starts handing him those pictures and Lazar's reaction to that was so disturbing. And when they showed those pictures, the Polaroid pictures to the camera, I was like, and, and and Bob was like, and Bob was always like, yeah, yeah, that, Jeremy, you found it. That's 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 the thing I would use. You would lay your hand down and scan your bones. Yeah, these are the exact pictures, exactly what it what it was. This was literally me looking at those pictures. I was like, because again, the, 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 those pictures, they don't appear to have like CGI in it. They, 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 as far as I can tell, those pictures look um, extraordinarily real. And that's fucking weird. Because I've, I've never seen anything like that hand scanning. I've never even heard of such a thing before. Um, another thing that's really creepy is that... Um, when he said that... When he was pulling up to Area S4, right? He's... Oh shit, that's creepy. He said that the whole compound, like this whole building, it was, it was like blended into the environment. For example, like uh, uh, a large sections of the wall would look like uh, sand and rock. When it's not, it's just like paint, uh, uh, 
really uh, carefully painted, right? That freaked me out. Because it implies that, like, if you were looking down from the satellite, you'd be like, nothing interesting to see down, nothing interesting to see down there, but if you were to be down there, Also, the, the cloud, I can't, that's so weird. They actually put a fucking, um, what, uh, it's like a jet engine and like a, and like a car, and like a car. How fucking weird, dog. I really did not expect to see, oh, man, when I started seeing footage of him from back in the day, my, the hairs on, on my back started to rise, because I was like, fam. Jeremy and Bob are making this really hard to disprove. Um, because innately you want to disprove, right? Because it, it, uh, what he's saying doesn't make any fucking sense. You know? It's almost like the Bob don't even make no goddamn sense. It's almost like Bob was just like, he's like, listen, I know you don't like what I got to say, but I, I'm just telling you how it is, you know? Um... Um, but yeah, yeah, so, fun fact, yeah, the two most credible cases, uh, that I've ever heard in my entire life, I've been looking into this type of shit all my life, um, the only known time I've ever been, like, I kind of believe them, is with Bob and David, um, I can't think of any other thing with, I can't think of any other time where I thought that, you know? Very spooky, for sure. Bob Lazar legitimately freaks me the fuck out. Um, I would love desperately to speak with him. I would have so many guys. I would love to speak with Commander Fravor. Fuck me running. I would have so many questions for them. I feel like this needs to happen, y'all. This needs to happen. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I like got to do an interview with Bob Lazar or Commander Fravor or George Knapp? Like, what, what would y'all think if it's something like, or if I got to speak with Jeremy? What would y'all think about that? Because the more I think about it, I'm like, man. Hmm. You know? But I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I know one of y'all. Oh, shit. There's more comments. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Corbell is an idiot. Notice how he highlights himself throughout the documentary. I understand where you're coming from, but it's like Big Dog. If it wasn't for Jeremy, honestly, I, I, I think about the amount of people that would have no idea about Bob, no idea about David. Think about the renewed interest in the subject. I think we need to think of Jeremy. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's real. That's real. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Look up alien scientist on YouTube. He perfectly debunks Lazar and the rest of them. Bro, let me tell you something. I I've been trying to poke holes at Bob Lazar for a minute now, and unfortunately. He runs into the same fucked up answer. I don't know. But he's not lying. I'll tell you that much. I don't know. But he ain't lying. Not to me. Um. Oh yeah, King Tones. Thanks, man. Yeah, I would. I would definitely like to do some more um, um, live streams. Oh yeah. By the way, what was it? Was it TL two zero one. Look up alien scientist. Nah. -uh. No, no. You you you're so sure that he's lying. Okay. You tell me why right here, right goddamn now. Okay. Don't refer me to nothing. He's lying. You tell me why in specific detail. I look forward to your counter argument. <clears throat> Let's see here. 
Yeah, that's 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 also an intriguing thing to mention. Those hand bone scanners had already been around for years when Lazar claimed they had. Yeah, I, well, I mean, it's not kind of granted, but but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if they were there, um, I mean that technology was there. I mean, clearly it would predate Bob Lazar by a whole hell of a lot. Um, but still, what the fuck? What was it? See, see, I, I can't, I can't talk to this person. What did they say? Look at the Dreamland resort photos taken of S four recent uh, of S four. Boot up. Basically, what he's saying is, go look at the satellites. Go look for S four. You ain't gonna find nothing. My nigga, that is a terrible take. First off, uh, these events that Bob was talking about, this shit was. 30 years ago. Okay? Well, if you fly over there now, you're not going to see anything. Obviously not! The fuck? Imagine it. Just, let's just imagine for a moment that this is all true. Of course it ain't going to be there, jackass! No, it's not going to be there. And if it was there, it's not going to be there in some way that um, makes sense. It's been 30 fucking years. What, do you think they were going to make this easy on us? <laughs> um, let's see here. If he was lying, then how would he have known about Area Fit? First off, if he's lying, I don't know. I don't know. Some of the, uh, some, thing, some of the facts around his life are just too weird. to just sort of innately be like, eh, not a coat, move on. And it's like, I... I You know, think about the time that he would have been recruited. You know what I'm saying? Think about his level of intellect, which is considerably fucking high. God damn. Some of those uh, footage of him, pictures of him when he's younger, like, oh, yeah, it, yeah. I'm not saying he's, like, one of the top smartest people, but niggas are scientists wholeheartedly. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to get into debate mode because, I mean, to be fair, this is meant to be a review, but, um, uh, nah, nah, y'all, y'all gotta, if you're skeptic, yeah, you gotta come harder than, you gotta come harder than that, big dog, okay, you gotta come harder than that, again, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, I'm saying, for me, it's just a combination of, I don't know, mixed with the potential that he's telling the truth, unfortunately, hi, but that just doesn't fucking make sense, that's, a, that's crazy, that's just crazy. But anyways, I, uh, um, I am going to cut this in because I smell a debate running on and this wasn't meant to be a debate between me and you. It's just meant to be a review and me. We can certainly debate at a future time. But um, maybe that's what future UFO podcasts are for. We'll see. But um, let me see here. Hero323, think about this. He's told this story many times. When people... Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, mm. I, there's just something about his body language. That it, it, it doesn't really stuck so that he's lying, man. I mean, especially the way that he responds to things, you know. Um, it just seems so assured, you know. And sometimes where there might be a brief stumble, it's like, it's fucking 30 years ago, fam. It's, it's hard to, um, and again, it's not like, you know, he didn't have, he didn't have the luxury of, like, smartphones, you know what I'm saying? He didn't have the luxury of, like, touch screens and shit, you know what I mean? Like, um, where is the cloud chamber video? What in the fuck is going on with that shit? Okay, it's clear that that footage is it, it's it's real. It's it's real. It, I I can tell that's real footage. However, what about on one on one? Where's the rest of the footage? You know what I'm saying? Um, because until then, it's just a bunch of fucking nothing. Shit. And unfortunately, when George Knapp was like, it's unfortunately lost. Sadly, sadly, it's probably possible. For it. 
30 years ago? Shit, a man like George Knapp? Sadly makes sense to us, like, God damn it. We, guys, we, we need, internet, we need the rest of that cloud chamber fucking footage, okay? You understand me? We need that fucking footage. We also need, um, whatever we can get, uh, uh, in full from the footage of when Bob Lazar said he took his friends out to, uh, uh, to, to videotape the crap so they knew that he wasn't crazy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Another creepy thing... Fuck it, I'm just gonna say it. Another thing that creeps me out about Bob Lazar is that you can tell there's a little bit more that he knows that he's not laying on, but he's not laying on for, for, um, for safety to protect his family. That fucking creeps me out. Um, it's also it's also weird. Um, some people might not like this blanket statement, but for the sake of time, you can tell. That's a fucking with them, you know? Um. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. It's it's it's, it's weird shit, man. It's weird shit. Uh where 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 are you guys at? I forgot you were there again, sorry. Um let me see. Um, so, this person brings up a, a curious point, you know, if Bob Lazar worked there, then where's the rest of the Bob Lazars? Um, this, this is like a good and a bad point, like, because if it's true, who in the fuck in their right mind would want to come forward and talk about that? I don't think people think about that. Like, think about that. Think about that you were actually there with him. Think about that you actually worked with him. Literally, you. Would you want to come forward? No! No, you would not. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Um, maybe you might want to, like, come forward in, like, a, like an ultra-secretive way. Well, no, no. Most people would not want to come forward. Wait, you whack? The fuck? Shit. I, I, I know that might fuck up your, your mind a bit. But, but seriously, like, if, if I worked along with Bob Lazar and I seen how things panned out with Bob Lazar, because again, think about from the viewpoint, if this were true, okay, and you've been observing what happened with Bob Lazar, you want to be like Bob Lazar too? Probably fucking not. I'm betting fucking not. It's easy to say, yeah, now, that wasn't you. You weren't there. Blah blah. But I would not. I would not want that type of fucking hate on me. Not like that. What the fuck? Especially I don't work there. But I'm nervous. Literally right now. <laughs> I was nervous about doing this motherfucking review. It's just. It's just a fucking review. You know. Then I ain't know anything special. I don't even worry about nobody. Imagine what the the people who must have worked with them must feel like. Especially. Watching people ridicule him, uh, uh, destroy his life, you know? I don't know. I, I, I strongly disagree with that take. Strongly disagree. I would not, not want to come out about that shit, boy. Especially if you were following Bob closely. Trust me. To the best of your ability, you would try to follow Bob closely. Mm-mm. 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 No. Mm-mm. Not me. Self kill. Let me see here. Um, he was a real Bob was a real scientist whose job was uh, reverse engineer. Yeah, yeah. But um, mm. but yeah, I fuck. I can't remember who said that. But yeah, yeah, hero. Yeah, that that's that's what I would say to that. I understand where your head's at, and I know it's easy for you to think that you know. Um, but again, uh. There's a great quote from um, 
Tenant. It's in the trailer. Calm down. But there's a, um, it's literally like in the first, 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 first trailer. Okay, so calm down. Relax. Um, but yeah, there's a quote in Tenant where um, a guy goes, uh, we all believe we can run into the burning building, but until we feel that heat, we can never know. Um, that is basically the end of my thoughts on that hero. Um, you can talk that talk, but until you feel that heat, if you were to feel that heat, I bet you, I bet you think otherwise about coming forward. Shit, especially if you actually work there. Let's see here. Then Bob is playing with fire. Putting it mildly. Let's see here. I wouldn't say anything either. Hell no. If it's a real situation? Oof. Man, that's a great, that's a great fucking quote from Tenet. Shit. Um, let's see here. Commander Fravor described exactly how... Yeah, that's... Uh, why... This is why... Uh, to a larger sense, this documentary is a failure. It, it's just... It just should have been edited so differently. Like... Why is there not, like, a 50-minute video with just Commander Fravor and Bob Lazar speaking? You know what I'm saying? Jeremy! Jeremy, can, can we talk? Can we hang out? Can I make some suggestions to your upcoming documentaries? Because, nigga, tie it up. Um, Let me see here. Area 51 has been around since 1955. Uh, Bob didn't expose it. Um, I suppose, but I feel like that's sort of here or there. Because he, he worked at Area S4. If it exists, of course. But um, I feel you. I feel you're coming from. Um, I think it'd be more appropriate to say that maybe, like, Bob helped, like, blow the roof off popularity when it comes to Area 51. Maybe that's more, you know. But again, that's, it's, it's important to note, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, they went to the Area S4. So I'm reading some of these comments. Um... Also, didn't the Pentagon declassify UFOs this year? Yeah, that's a creepy fucking fact to bring up. They did. Well, wait. This year? Yeah, this year. Yeah, around, uh, 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 well, to be fair, it was like, um, declassified videos from 2005 and I think, uh, two other time periods. There was like three videos from three different time periods. Something, something like that. Something to that effect. Something, something to that effect. Yeah, that's fucking weird, man. It's fucking weird. The Pentagon, they sh they did. They did. Declassify UFOs. I mean, again, UFOs don't mean aliens, okay? But, um, yeah, they did, though. They did. And one of those UFOs was, uh, um, what... Commander Fravor and his team. That's another thing that people don't pay attention to. It wasn't just Fravor who saw this shit. It was him and others. Why do people not think about that when they're being skeptical about Fravor's um, experience? Like, what the fuck? It's freaking me out. Fuck, that's weird. Fravor's testimony is one of the most baffling things I've ever heard, dog. Like, what in the flying fuck happened that day? I get that y'all's first gut instinct is to be like, it was a weather balloon, uh, it was a plastic bag, uh, it's probably somebody fishing. I know, yeah, this one of you guys is like first initial thoughts, but it's like, guys, come on, come on, fuck. Listen, I'm just as skeptical as the next guy, but let's just, let, let's just be real as tits here, okay? If, 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 if Fravor was one of your bestest friends, okay? You mean tell me after this nigga came home and told you about this shit, you're gonna look at your best friend and be like, you lying ass pussy, motherfucker. Come on! Think! I'm not telling you to believe, I'm just, I'm just telling you to think. Question. Think. To be clear, I'm not telling you to believe Bob or Fravor. I can care less if you believe them. I'm just telling you, 
what they're claiming warrants serious, much further, much deeper investigation. For sure. Okay? I'm just telling you they just ask questions because some it's not right with these two. For once. It's interesting, you know. Uh, uh, people bring up uh, Betty Barney Hill or, or, or people bring up um, so many um, like, you know, on, on Unsolved Mysteries uh, season one, there's the, that Berkshire fucking UFO sighting or some shit, some shit. Forgot what it was, right? I'm not, I'm not even gonna, I'm, 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 be, I'm be honest with you. I'm be honest with you. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen with this video. Uh, or in future UFO videos. Well, I'm just gonna be fucking honest with you. That that segment of on on um, on the unsolved mysteries, it feels like bullshit. Maybe, maybe it did happen. Maybe it did happen, but I don't know. I wasn't feeling that. And so if, if you if you think I'm one of those people who, who will just believe anything, hell no. I don't believe in Bigfoot. Again, but most UFO uh, claims. Uh, I'm really atheist against, I mean, because, yeah, I think some of these people got to be fucking mentally ill or fucking uh, hallucinating or whatever the fuck, but, you know. So, yeah, like that thing on Unsolved Mysteries, I'm hell no, you know, like ancient aliens, uh, there's some aspects to it where I'm like, but for the most part, ancient aliens, like, <laughs> I feel like ancient aliens should preferably be watched while you're like drunk or high or something for maximum effect because for the most part it's literally just a bunch of niggas making the most hilarious the most over the top absurd guesses ever. Um, again, there's, there's like tiny slivers of aspects of ancient aliens where I'm like, oh shit, but for the most part you should watch Ancient Aliens just to get fucked up and have a good time. But, um, this, though, is a little bit different. I, 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 I just, I just want you to look into it. Get back to me. Okay? Just look into Bob Lazar. Okay? I ain't talking to you skeptics. I already know what you I think. Okay? But, uh, when it comes to Bob Lazar, Commander Fravor, those two are my top. They're at the top of my, my Mount Rushmore. Okay? Um, this is the closest I've ever come to being like, you know what, 100%, I believe y'all niggas, this is the closest I've ever come. Deal with aliens? Oh yeah, this is the closest I've ever come. I don't, I don't believe, like, you know, people being, like, abduct, abducted by aliens, or like, the, what, what's the other one I was looking at? Uh, it's been a bit of an alien day, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, what the fuck, what was the other one uh, uh, that I was looking into earlier? Um, I wasn't too well versed on uh, what was it, Skinwalker Ranch, right? I don't know about that. Well, there are some aspects of it that are a little weird, but that one just that just seems like too much. I don't know. It seems like too much to believe it. I don't know. What's intriguing about um, Fravor and Bob Lazar is is sort of like the gaps. Like it fascinates me. Like you would think Lazar would be like, yeah. <laughs> They had me sexually touched by aliens, and I was probed, and there was a time where I, like, made out with an alien. Like, he did, what's interesting about Bob is that he doesn't have, like, claims that are that crazy, you know? There's these interesting gaps. Like, like when he says that he looked through the hangar one time, and he saw nine alien spacecraft, but only one. And you're just like... It? Fuck it? fuck happened that day, you know? Um, like, realizing that those fucking weird bone things that he was talking about all that time was actually real? Shit! What? 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 The, what? Or, or the, like, the FBI, you know? Uh, um, uh, fucking with them during the filming. That's, that's weird. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why, why is no one talking about you know, why aren't, there, why aren't the skeptics um, talking about that deeper? You know what I'm saying? Um, mm. Element 115, that's a, that's a weird fucking situation as well. 
Let's make a new Bob Lee shit before it was officially declared. They were talking about, you know, um, gravi gravitational waves in this context before uh, that shit was uh, confirmed, right? In 2016 or some shit? What in the fuck is going on? Anyways, I'm starting to sweat. Um... This is so interesting because it, it's interesting how nervous and hesitant I was just to make this review. It's like imagine what Bob must feel like or anyone who knows him. Shit. Interesting stuff, man. Um, it could it could all be nothing. I'll tell I'll tell you one thing. I think I might have mentioned this because weirdly I mentioned UFOs in the last live stream. Um, just because I've just been thinking about it. I don't know. It's weird. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something. Oh, I was about to say yeah. That's what I was about to say. Let me say something. If 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 Fravor <laughs> or uh uh. Or Lazar are completely wrong. Honestly, fuck it. If if either one of them is wrong, or if they're both wrong, or whatever, if they're wrong, honestly, I think we need to discredit all <laughs> all supposed UFO sightings for real. If these two are wrong, fuck, we can't believe nobody, fam. Honestly, that's real. If these two are wrong, I don't think anyone could ever be believed again in some ways. Um, shit. Mm. It's so hard to think if, if Bob. I, I know we got cut this soon, you know what I'm saying? It's getting long as shit. Oh, well, I guess I can see how, how long we've been going. Fuck me! We've been going 57 minutes? <laughs> I should stop before this becomes the length of Jeremy's film. But, uh, um, fuck, what's a good stopping point? Until I arrive at one, I, I guess I'll just say that, um, if you guys are open to it, I, I would definitely like to discuss this type of thing a little bit deeper. <laughs> Especially with the great movies are. I gotta mix things up a bit. Um,. And there'll, there'll be more reviews coming soon. Again, there, there was supposed to be a movie review earlier. Uh, well, a movie, movie, movie review. I was going to review the new craft film, but, you know, fucking YouTube being down. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Let, let me know what your... Let me look at the comments one more time, see if there's anything juicy there that I might want to speak towards. Hmm... If you understand the science of what Bob is saying, he's not making this up. It's clear that he's very knowledgeable about science. For sure. He ain't making that part up. The fuck? What 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 was that nigga doing with a fucking jet engine in his car? What a beast. Um whether he was lying or not, like, what a Chad. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? No wonder they hired him. Let me see here. Uh, let me see. Alien scientist is a physicist and has debunked many of the claims you're discussing. <sighs> if that were true, we wouldn't be here. Also, alien scientist. Yeah, he sounds real credible. Um, let's see here. Uh, is there anything else? Where's the proof that there is a stable version of that element? Um, I, I feel where he's coming from, but we, we can play this game all day. But um, um, clearly, because Bob's been dealing with this shit for 30 motherfucking years. But um, um, it, I guess the last thing I'll say to your skepticism um, my nigga, you do realize that if what Bob is saying is true, they don't want you to know. 
not that hard. Okay? If he's telling the truth, you don't want him to be telling the truth, what do you do? You discredit everything about him. Which unfortunately for Bob, especially given when he, uh, uh, how he came up, the years he came up, unfortunately, God damn, must have been a cakewalk. I mean, granted, uh, you know, whether he's lying or not, they sure as fuck didn't anticipate him fucking hopping on, um, you know, with George Knapp. But, um, yeah. Also, fuck it. Bob has something. That, that's just my personal belief. This is just me talking. I believe, um, I believe Bob has something. 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 I know how this sounds. <laughs> But I think Bob has something. I'm not, I'm not saying that Bob has, like, an alien or anything. I don't think he has, like, you know, a spaceship. But I, I, I feel like Bob has something. You could call it, like, like all else has failed. I gotta press this button or else no one will believe me type of thing. But he has something equivalent to that. Something. In my heart, I, again, this is just my opinion. I think he has something. You could say maybe it's hidden somewhere. You could say it's taken 115. Whatever the fuck you want to say. But it's got something, okay? Also, by the way, uh, skeptics. What was the FBI doing? Or any agency equivalent doing fucking with this man during the filming of this? Let me know. I look forward to your skepticism comments. But, um, um, well, we have the hour mark. This probably should not be as long as the documentary. So, I think I'm going to pull the plug here. And, um, what's this? If Bob is telling the truth, are people right now ready to know that aliens is. No. I don't, I don't give a fuck what happened prior to today or even prior to two minutes ago. No. 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 People are... N no. I don't even think that deserves a deeper answer. Just no. Uh -huh. People do not... Um, um, my nigga, what are you talking about? Bob Zarb's ready to, like... Twice, but anyways, um, I, I apologize. Uh, hopefully, I, I don't know how long of a pause that was. I'm so sorry. Um, but luckily, we're still streaming. Uh, <laughs> just funny because I'm talking about the end of stream. But um, let me see here. I I'll I'll just I'll let you guys fucking. Argue amongst yourselves. Um, let me see here. Keep drinking the Kool Aid, my man. My nigga, if you had the evidence to 100% disprove Bob, either A, you wouldn't be in this chat, or you wouldn't mention it by now. Um, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate your skepticism. Someone's got to be skeptical. Um, I messaged you. Please read it. My nigga, you know how vague that is? Message me where? You got to be more specific. Any specifics. Um, did you message me on YouTube? Can you message me on YouTube? Did you message me on Twitter, Instagram? Where, nigga? What's your name on this place where you message me? You got to be specific. You got to be specific if you want me to find you. Um, is there anything else that I want to say before I dip out? Um, no. I, this is probably the perfect time to dip out, actually. I'm so sad that I wasted so many goddamn precious seconds trying to get back into YouTube when this froze. I was like, what? How, how do I get back into the stream? Like, it was literally showing that was pointless to talk about. But anyways, um, is there anything... Else that I want to say. Let me see here. 
He makes some good points, but you might want to edu educate yourself a little more. Um, you too, fam, because let me tell you something. If you're trying to convert people to your skepticism, you're doing a terrible job, okay? You're going to convert people to your skepticism. You need more um, definitive, these can't be fucked with by counter arguments type of statements, okay? Um, what I'm trying to tell you is trying to tell people that you're wrong, believe me, nah, bro. If I'm so wrong, uh, lay out the facts in detail. Right? If you're skeptical and Bob is 100% wrong, well, then just simply lay out the facts that will 100% disprove him and we can all go back to sleep. All right? Probably about the last thing I got to say towards that, but, um, was it? Um, Jonathan, you. There we go. Good. Good. See, now that's specific. Um, good stream, bro. Thanks. I feel really bad that this, because uh, what's interesting, despite sometimes it might stutter a little bit, the frame rate, um, sometimes when the connection breaks, it literally, the app just like goes away. And it is a brand new phone, so that, you know. Anyways, I'm going to stop crying about that. I'm going to get out of here because uh, I think I've literally exhausted everything I wanted to say on this. But, um, yeah, this, this this was fun. This was a good time. We even had a, a skeptic or two coming in to try to disrupt the fun. Well, not really disrupt the fun. We actually need skeptics. <laughs> let me tell you, if Bob is lying, okay, again, if Bob or Commander Kramer is lying, just... Send, send, and fuck me, send us, okay, to, to this comment section of this video. Send us the facts that 100% disprove Bob Lazar so me, and especially George Knapp, and others can get a well-deserved nap and we can stop thinking about this dumb bullshit, okay? <sighs> Good to see you doing lives, bro. Thanks, yo. I appreciate it. Yeah, this this uh, went way longer than was supposed to, but I think that's just sort of built up shit because I was I was supposed to live stream earlier about that whack ass the craft reboot. But, you know, YouTube went down. You know. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want to do some more live streams. I, I really enjoy them. Uh, they're coming in really clean. You know what I'm saying? You can like see my pores and shit. Kind of sucks that it's only at seven. 20p for the current time, but uh, yeah, you can fucking see my pores and shit. You can see the little fuck up I had in my finger and shit. I'm liking the quality, you know, sound quality seems good. So yeah, we'll have to do some more of these. <coughs> well, we'll probably uh, do a lot of <laughs> me pissing on the reboot to the craft. Um, again, that was supposed to come earlier today. Uh, I think that movie review will probably come out tomorrow, tomorrow or something like that. Um, but yeah, there'll be more streams, more movie reviews coming. Sorry that I've been lacking in movie reviews recently, but to be fair, 2020 has been the most fucked year in my life, so you'll just have to excuse me. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to dip out, but, um, weird, man. Fucking weird. But hey. What do you think? Let me know.